Hey guys, Jeff and Matt Kite. And I'm Tucker. And we're here to uh, introduce to you Ozone's version one of their Flux. Brand new wing in their lineup they came out, came out with and uh, both Tuck and I have had a, some time on it. Yeah. And we want to kind of go over a little bit of our first impressions, a little bit about the construction, things we like about it, and maybe a few things that uh, maybe leave us with a few questions, but you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Perfect. I feel like it's it's a really exciting time to do a review on an ozone wing because let's be honest, like it's been a little stagnant mm -hmm. maybe for uh, for the past year or so. You know, they had the V2, which is a great step up from their V1. And the V3 was just kind of a slight modification of the V2. Mm -hmm. And it's a great wing, but it's also very middle of the road, very versatile, kind of your Honda Civic, so to speak, of wings. Uh, and so I, learned, the flux. I learned on the version one of the Wasp. Yeah. So the first time I, actually the first time I took flight was on Ozone Wasp, so. Yeah, yeah. And it, it did the job, but yeah, it's awesome to see them evolve. And it's really fun to see, uh, I feel like for, for Ozone to step out of that middle of the road territory into a more high performance, you know, we'll call it maybe intermediate plus kind of a wing. Uh, but you know, those people that are really gonna like it are, are those people with racing, high speed riding, power riding kind of performance looking for that and uh, they came with some unique ideas and in some some pretty cool uh, solutions out of their R&D team that uh, yeah it's a cool step up from what uh, they have with the V3. So. And that's what they marketed it for right the race jump yeah. speed that was my experience I've only ridden the five meter but I was impressed things that jump out at me was the speed uh, and it's a wing, whenever you think of race or you think of jumping with a wing, obviously you think it's got to handle the high end yeah. well. And so um, after my experience riding on it, you can ride it powered up. I mean, completely more wind than I normally would ride on a five. Yeah. I was in like, you know, up into like 22, 23, 24 knots with a five, which I normally would drop down to at least a four. Yeah, in yeah. Saudi, or a four or five. So, Powered up, I think it's in a sweet spot. It does very well. So that's something that really stood out to me on the high end. But on the flip side, the low end, if you know how to pump efficiently, it I had no problem getting up in some of the lulls uh, when I fell off, you know, foil. Yeah. Uh, so I felt a pretty solid. I mean, the performance end of the pumping to get up on foil, and then the speed is really what stands out to me with it when you drive up wind with it. I wouldn't. Say, I mean, I'd say it's. Definitely better than average driving upwind. Yeah. Um, and but it's when you find a sweet spot, the speed was just I was kind of blown away. And that's that's what they market it as, and that's what I experienced. Very very fast wing. Yeah, yeah. And you know, really, before going too deep into the review side of things, I think you know some things that le lead to that kind of generic behavior and range and, and performance you're talking about. Uh, number one. You know, from the get-go, they're designing this wing to be fast. It's a quick profile. The foil section is quick. It's very low drag, good upwind, good VMG, you know, which is all positive things for racers. Uh, and anybody really that wants to just ride powered or overpowered or in, even in gusty and uh, inconsistent, excuse me, type of uh, conditions. But uh, there are also a few other things, you know, number one, materials. So they've really gotten creative with materials on this wing. You know, it's stepping away from your standard canopy into a premium canopy with multiple weights, you know, depending on where they're laying out. They've updated the panels to really spread that load and resist bagging out uh, so that, you know, the wing just keeps its shape longer. You're also getting a stiffer, you know, more responsive wing uh, like, you, like you experience, you know, when you have more power and more pressure and more strain going into those materials, it's now, you know, important to reinforce that more. Uh, or resist that more, you know, so that you can do that without deforming the wing and ruining that shape, you know, that they've carefully crafted. So uh, they've definitely nailed it with the different canopy weights and, and stiffnesses and, and upgrades in the canopy, you know, that really provide that, but also don't go too heavy, you know, for a wing that's, you know, this stiff and, and rigid, it's really quite light, I would say, as compared to definitely. some other options out there. And then also the frame. Uh, so, you know, this is uh, a frame similar to like a Duotone SLS type of material. Mm -hmm. The name, technical name escapes me at the moment, but it is a lighter, stiffer material. So it's, 
you know, just a nice upgrade. It's, it's what you want to use really if, if you're leveling up to a wing that's going to take that kind of power and abuse, I think. You I know, think to level it up, but it's also a pretty affordable right. uh, option with those when those upgrades, you know, they're, they're mm -hmm. not getting, uh, getting into the really expensive stuff either. So it's still a, a wing most people could afford to have a quiver of. <laughs> Definitely. <And laughs> not I think just the 1%. When you're talking about the material, and I think the, the canopy and how they have, their, their pieces of mechanic, their canopy are all uh, laid out throughout the, I believe they go down the... Um, it's like a radial. Yes. Yeah. And I think that transfers in riding, believe it or not, is very stable. I mean, I felt it to be yeah. very stable and smooth. It is. Yeah. Even, uh, we, we keep seeing, using the word race and high speed, but riding waves i've been i've been enjoying riding the waves with it it's very stable yeah. i even have i even have a little scar here on, on the second knuckle yeah <laughs> it's not a bad problem to have flagging out the wing and riding it we had a great day here uh, finally this past weekend and so i rode it a lot of miles i did find you know the handle the leading the handle was, was comfortable but a little soft sure. um, for my liking um, you, you just have to have more input when you're flagging it out behind you holding it with the leading edge. But going back to all the material upgrades they did on it and the canopy and how they designed it, it's very, uh, very stable, smooth. Yeah. Is what I... Yeah, and when you get lit, you can just tell, you know, it doesn't do the folding mm -mm. and then... It's not twitchy. Yeah, and, and then you fold and like then the canopy just ends up with all these, you know, wrinkles that, mm -hmm. you know, it's just slow. This wing, you can really lay into it and it, it holds its shape, and, and I would say it even gets better. It's like they pre-engineered that flex, knowing they were going to put it into it. You know, the bit of flex that does happen, it kind of locks into that powered riding, and then it really, really hits the rocket the boosters. Spot. Yeah, you find that sweet spot. The wing kind of hits that that point. I think that they've even engineered in there that you know it flies best with that you know loaded stress into the frame. You know, and, and really really seems to hit the boosters at that point. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of those wings that, you know, I think you can ride a little underpowered. It's still got it, some good it, pumping it, power. It's got great. decent lift, but it really, yeah, hits its sweet spot, I feel mm -hmm. like, once you hit the upper end of its range, because mm -hmm. I mean, that's really what it's kind of been designed right to on. do, I guess, but. Let's um, hit Let's hit some of the features. The handles, yeah. I, I love the diameter yep. of the handles. Uh, I think they know. a long it. handle. Yep, they're long. Two long handles. They're a little off. Little, Inward tail, yeah. yeah, just to line your wrists up with mm -hmm. your, your elbows and your forearms so that you're not doing this, yep. you're doing that, which is just a little bit more comfortable. On the elbows, they have a little covering, uh, which makes them kind of soft if you want to ride at the elbows. Sounds like I should have done that more than trying to flag it out so much, but. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's I mean, soft, it has a soft rubbing elbow. Rubbing your knuckles there maybe, yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's got that kind of soft yep. uh, feel on the front end. and But not much hand to fatigue. Grab. Yeah, easy to grab and something that, yeah, if it bumps your board or your head, it's not going to be too bad anyway. And that's, you know, I can't even think of a time where my front handle has hit my head or anything. But no, no. Uh, I suppose it's possible. Yeah, I did notice the handles, they're, they, they kind of slide in to the material. And then when you, yeah, when there's you two inflate pockets, the strut. Right? And then there's, a, yep. yeah, there's a, what do I call it, like a finger, a tab. Mm -hmm. that slides up under that pocket so that when you inflate the strut, it kind of locks in. Yeah. Uh, and there's a little bit of play there just so you can remove the handle and replace it if you want to. Uh, I don't know if they're going to have different handles, if they're just thinking, you know, take them out for travel uh, or, or what, you know, the, the real intended purpose of having those easily removable handles is, but it does have a little shift. It does. When you're pumping, you don't notice it when you're riding powered. No. Nope. Uh, but just when you're pumping, you know, if you've got a little shift, rather than having that strain into the handles, yeah, it, it does sometimes give a little wiggle, maybe a quarter it gives, inch. It gives you a little feedback too. You can hear it. Like, you can. I sh 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 yeah. Sh sh gives a little, little high pitch or a whoop, you know, as you're yeah. pumping it hard. A little carpet burn sound. Yeah, 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 just a little bit. So I don't know. I, I think you bring it up. I don't know why. Maybe for travel. Um, I mean, to be nitpicky. And it's plastic, I, you know, I, I don't think I have any concerns about durability or anything like no, that. But they do move under torque, and if you, yeah, like you said, if you pump hard it, or you, you do attack and you're coming out of it and you have to really pump super hard, you can they, they do move a little bit. But like you sure, said, sure. once you're uh, harnessed in and you're ripping up wind with it. Yeah, even if you're not harnessed in, yeah, if you yeah, just have you don't, good, but good power in the wing, it doesn't, I've never noticed it move, even in attack or anything like yeah. that, you know, swinging it over, I, I don't feel a move at that nope. point. Just when you're pumping occasionally and it's just a little quarter inch shift, just yep. a little play, I agree. nothing that's overly 
disconcerting, but we'll note it. Inflation system, it's a Boston style valve. It does uh, take the fat pressure fit. Not the narrow one, it, it pops right back out. Yeah, not the narrow one. It takes the fatter tip one. It uh, doesn't take the hose end. Like a lot of the Boston valves have that direct hose end connection uh, nowadays. So it, it doesn't take that. It's not that kind of Boston valve. It takes the fat pressure tip. Uh, you inflate the leading edge and the strut independently, which I'm a big fan of. You want to have a dump valve on the strut anyway, you might as well have an independent inflation. Let's make things simple, lightweight. Not easy to see the PSI. It's, we'll get a, we'll a close-up of it. It's kind of included in all the writing. Yeah. First time I used the wing, I had no idea what PSI was. I mean, I'm getting right. a little old, can't see, but it it's took It's going to change per size, too. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, you yeah it was hard to see. Oh, eight. I think now it was it seven, seven on the leading edge and eight on the I five that I had. Right. Yeah, and the five, five that I've been yeah. riding, and uh, I want to say even the six, five are the same, but don't quote yeah. me on that. But yeah, really good size range. Really, they have a full range of mm -hmm. sizes, uh, 2.4 to 6.5 with all the increments in between. Uh, and those are, seem well thought out. You know, it's not just arbitrary five, six, seven, eight, you know, or five, 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 six, six, five. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, they've really thought out the range, it seems like, and and I think you can usually skip a size in a quiver, you know, if, if you're not too fussy. If you're real fussy about having the perfect performance and size for every situation, especially if you're a serious racer, I think maybe you would want every size. Yeah. Uh, for every increment, I guess, between the sizes you're using. Yeah, I can't say enough about it. Uh, I'm, I'm super stoked on it. I know you oh, have, I am. I've yeah, sold quite I, a few of them. Yeah. Our customers have yeah. been really happy, and that that ranges from you know average Joes like us out there, mm -hmm. speeding around for fun and riding waves and, and jumping, you know, all the way to competition level racers that are, mm -hmm. are really making a go at the standings, and uh, and I've been really impressed with them as well. So I would say for a beginner. You could use this wing. I think you, you need to know how to pump a little bit or just ride in a little more overpowered, pull and go kind of uh, riding. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it had pretty good size low up. end. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're a beginner, just size up maybe yeah. half a meter. Yeah, I would size up. To make up. sure that you're riding powered because you're just not quite as efficient yet. Yeah. But It's a um, solid, like I said, smooth, comfortable ride, a lot of speed. It does come with a, a waist harness. It's just a... It's attached to waist the leash. waist leash. Not, oh, a sorry, not a harness. Thank you. Leash. Yep. Yeah. It's just got the little leash you, you, you put on there. I put it underneath my harness. I think, you know, I would probably end up taking it off and just putting it to the back of my, my harness. Instead yeah, you know what I two, did? Instead of having two on it. Yeah, once. I wear a harness, right? So I removed the leash line from the waist belt. Yeah. So you just slip it over the buckle and slide it out. So now you just have, uh, you know, your arm steel, M steel uh, leash line. Mm -hmm. And it's got a, a decent size loop, loops like that. It's big. So I just slipped it over my buckle on my harness. And this, I was using the, uh, wing the wingman, Mystic wingman. And so I slipped it over the clip and then buckled it up. Hmm. So it connected really easily right there. Well, and that keeps it from sliding. The back. Yeah, yeah, and that keeps it from sliding into my hook. Sometimes if you have a leash line connected right where your hook is, it can get in the way when you're trying to hook mm -hmm. in. So having it a little to the side, uh, but still in front was really nice. Sometimes if you go to the back, it's a bit much. Um, yeah, dancing around a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and it sometimes depends on how you're handling your wing too, you know, if you're passing in front or if you're doing, you know, like cowboy jibes mm -hmm. and things like that. But it's good to note it comes with that because it, does, it doesn't come with the wrist. It yeah, it doesn't the, come with the wrist leash. The waist so belt. you can connect it there, uh, you can use a wrist cuff, we actually sell mm -hmm. an ozone wrist cuff, uh, or you can connect it to pretty much any other brand, mm -hmm. you know, that has a removable wrist cuff. So use whatever you'd like there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what their idea was there. If they feel like the waist belt is, is safer, they've moved to that for all their wings now. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have the option of uh, a wrist cuff, but. So, I'll, you know, I'd say ozone did a good job. It's as great. We, as we started hit this it out of the park. Perf performance yeah. step up, I've been getting on a lot. I wouldn't hesitate to buy one, have one in my quiver. Like yeah, I'd be pretty happy with a full quiver of them. In, yeah, in terms I mean, of high performance, mm -hmm. racy kind of wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good uh, in the waves still. Still pretty darn good in the waves. Yeah. I, was, I was just about to say, I think it's probably one of the best surfing Race. racy wings. Mm -hmm. You know, So other racy wings, we've got uh, the North Mode which is a phenomenal wing, uh, but maybe not quite as good in the surf as this one, uh, just because it's a little heavier. And we've got like the Duotone uh, Slick, 
mm -hmm. SLA, or, uh, Slick D Lab, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty capable as, as a speedy race to your wing as well. Uh, and that one serves pretty good too in, in the D Lab construction, but it is pricey. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, you know, the Flux is, is an good interesting price point. option at a lower price point. Yep. With the performance it can offer. So I'm, we're, I'm stoked on it. Yeah, yeah, really, you know, I, I don't think I can come up with any uh, big digs or complaints about the wing. You know, just some things to note, you know, with needing the correct pump adapter, mm -hmm. uh, with noting, you know, that little shift in the wings, which really doesn't affect performance. It's just no. a small note. If you're somebody that's really nitpick, nit, nitpicky about that kind of a, an interesting, kind of weird quirk, uh, I think, you know, it's something to know before you buy one maybe, but really shouldn't affect any kind of usage or, or issues with anything. The um, leading edge handle is a little soft for my liking. Obviously, I have a, a scar to prove it. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's, but it's at really the same kinda, time, it's, it's a lot of riding. You're out there for a long time yeah, and exactly. you had a good time. Am I wrong? Did it ruin your experience? No, not I at all. Think so. It's so, not a bad thing to complain something about. To note, and maybe somebody else would have the opposite opinion, you know? Yep. About articulating the, about the it when you're holding it, but very soft to the hands when you're holding it and yeah. forgiving. So, nice job, Ozone. So if you have any questions, you want to hit us up, hit us up with chats, give us a call at the shop, email us. We're here to help you out, get the right sizes and the right, right setup for you.